What's going on? I'm Alan Brown, aka Bully the Kid, and thank you for joining me at Everyday Bully. Uh, this is going to be something where I kind of put up a lot of fitness activity type things, and with that in mind, I'm going to be getting into a uh, hobby I used to do fairly re frequently in college when I was uh, playing ball, and uh, it was a good release, man. It was something that I could, you know, I can focus and hone. And uh, I never put any weight in it. I never put any money into it because, you know, it was just fun. And it's still fun. But now I have the ability to, like, make myself better and stuff like that. So I decided to take up bowling, right? You know, bowling for fun, whatever, whatever. Um, I have a ball that I got um, maybe three or four months ago or so just to, you know, kind of dip my toe in the water and see if I, I'm actually, you know, wanting to do this. And, you know, I always have a ball. Um, I've always had a some type of bowling ball, whether it was given to me or uh, I got it secondhand or something like that, something like that. And uh, I picked up a Brunswick T-Zone. So uh, I have it drilled and I normally throw uh, with my thumb out of it. Some people say it's two-handed throw, but I don't. I use, just use my one hand and cup it as it goes back and let it go. So for me, they're saying this is a reactive ball somewhat, but for me, this is a spare ball because like I can't, I spin it with so much rotation that it just fly, it never catches. So um, we're gonna see, I'm gonna have these two balls uh, in the bag or in the bag when I get it. I have a bag now that has my shoes in one ball, this one. And uh, I'm actually doing a unboxing of my newest ball. Or my actual supposed to be quote unquote uh, reactive ball. And this is another Brunswick bad boy. I got both of these balls off Amazon. I think together they were around 150. 160 or so together. Uh, I think I got that one for 60 or so. And this one I picked up for 84 or 85. Same difference. And uh, if I can get past all this stuff. Do that. Box holds the box. Open the secondary box that box wouldn't you know holds another box <laughs> take that box out of that box put those boxes in the box that's over here box double box <laughs> and this is the ball let's go let's go let's go let's go this is the rhino. So off the gate, like off the like off the rip, it is very reminiscent to a ball I already got. So that's the center pin. I don't know what that crown means. This is how they're gonna decide where where to drill it. I guess. Let me check this other ball out. Come here. <clears throat> So, center pin, where's the pin at? Where's the, the thing? Am I missing it? It's supposed to be here, right? So I hold it like this, which means it's either, oh, there it is, that's the pin right there. There's a little bitty pin. There's a little bitty thing there. I'm assuming that's what it is and it's drilled up rather than drilled under. So yeah, as I'm getting into it, I'm learning more and more uh, about how bowling isn't as simple as I thought it was. There's a lot of technical know-how that goes into doing this, and I didn't really think that much about it until now. So here's the Rhino again, okay? This looks very similar to the other ball I actually own. Well, I own both now, but T-Zone, Rhino, that's them together. 
but they look similar. Like they have the same colors popping off. So that works for me because I love blue. I just hope I can tell them apart whenever it's game time. This is a little bit deeper blue, so it may not be too bad. But yeah, so I gotta go get, I think I'm gonna go and get my ball uh, drilled for the thumb. Cause I, I didn't get it drilled. I didn't get the thumb drilled out because I held it like this. I wanted to get that a try before I get the thumb drill, uh, drilled in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and drop off both of the balls and then uh, get it drilled up and see what happens, man. Uh, I'm gonna need a way to carry this bad boy because I only got one bag for now till next week when I'll get another bag. But uh, yeah. That's the that's the whole unboxing. Looks good. Feels pretty solid. I think I'm gonna go ahead and get this drill. That's gonna be the the main go-to. And I know for sure I can throw that straight, so I might just leave it alone. And then uh kind of start working on my thumb in hook technique. And uh I'll be doing videos of me in the on the lanes, practicing, talking about what I'm doing. As I get better, just for a chronicle, just for me, because uh, like to know where I am and how I grow when I grow. So, yeah, I actually have a uh, came with a kind of like a uh, description of what's supposed to happen. So specifications: it says hook potential ninety five. Uh, length is early at 160. Uh, break point shape, smooth arc at 90. And RG differential low, 0 0.030. Not really sure what those mean. But uh, yeah, it has a reactive core. That's what the core looks like inside the Rhino ball. And uh, me watching videos and videos and videos and videos on it. It made me want to go ahead and pick one up and see what I could do with it. So, yeah, I'll be uh, talking it up and, uh, uh, yeah, hopefully getting better at doing this. And, you know, it's an activity. Gets me up, gets me walking, gets me through, you know, get to use my muscles a little bit. And I uh, get better at something that I used to love when I was uh, in college. So, thank y'all for watching, and I'll see y'all on the lanes. Peace.